Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm taking this horse to school. What, wh why are you taking a horse to school? Because, Molly, it's crazy outfit day and the horse is a part of my accessories. Daisy, you cannot take a horse to school. The teacher's going to give you detention. Wait, what? She will? Yeah, of course she will. <laughs> what are you going to do? Put the horse at a desk and make it do your homework? That's not a bad idea, Molly. Daisy, lose the horse! Okay, fine, Grumpy. Well, maybe I'm a little grumpy because it's still dark outside and you woke me up for school. Seriously, the bus doesn't come this early. Well, um, I just want you to get out of bed on time because you've been late for so many times that you're literally going to have detention for the rest of your life, Molly. Do you want that? Uh, well, uh... Molly! No, I don't want detention for the rest of my life. Hey, Daisy, what do you think of my crazy outfit? Well, it's certainly crazy. What do you think of my cowgirl outfit? I think I look crazy and cute. Yeah, you always seem to be fashionable, even when it's crazy outfit day. Finally, the sun's coming up. Yeah, well, I may have gotten us out of bed just a little bit early today. You think? Oh, look who these losers are. We're not losers, Sarah. Why are you always saying we're losers? Look at how you're dressed. You have to be losers. Uh, newsflash. Today is crazy outfit day at school, so maybe you're the loser because you're not wearing a crazy outfit. Whatever. Look, I do that baby stuff anyway. Like, I don't dress up, like, for all that nonsense. It's not nonsense. The whole school does it for Spirit Week. And Molly and I just happen to be in the Spirit. What are you? Like some sort of like cowgirl or something? Where's your horse even? I was gonna bring a horse, but Molly said... Look, I don't even care what you have to say. Ugh, this is boring. B Daisy, wait! What, Molly? What is it? You forgot to look both ways. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. It was so dangerous. What are you talking about? Looking both ways? What are you, babies? Uh, no, we're safe. S Sarah, you have to look both ways before you cross a road. Oh, she'll never learn. You're telling me, Daisy. You're telling me. Wow, this test is really hard. Molly, remember, there's no talking and no cheating during the test. You don't want detention, do you? No, I wasn't cheating. I was just saying, this test is so hard, Mrs. Smith. Well, it does challenge you, I agree. I think it's pretty easy. Of course you do, Daisy. Of course you do. Whatever. This test is so hard. Where's my notes? <gasps> you can't use a note, Sarah. That's called cheating. Whatever. It's not really cheating if I took the notes. Actually, yes, it is. Daisy, is there a problem? Please stop talking or you're going to fail your test. <gasps> oh, sorry, Mrs. Smith. I can't believe she's cheating. That's so wrong. No, it's not. You're just such a baby. My sister's not a baby! Molly, no talking. Sorry, it's just Sarah! Molly, no talking. Okay, fine. Ooh, time for lunch, my favorite. Hey, Brookie, what's up? Oh, hey, Molly. I'm just so excited because today I got Doritos in my lunch. Wow, your mom's super cool. Uh, my mom always, mom always packs me just an apple or whatever. Well, sit down, Molly. You could share some of my Doritos if you want. Oh, wow, really? That's super nice of you. Yeah, why don't you share with me, as in give me the entire bag? What? Uh, no, sorry, Sarah. I, I didn't say I would share with you. I only have enough to share with Molly today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't want you to share. I want you to give me the entire bag of Doritos. She doesn't want to, Sarah. <gasps> Sarah, you took her Doritos! Sarah, give those back. You want them after I've chewed on them? Ew, you're gross. 
Why are you so mean to me, Sierra? You're always bullying me. Brookie! Brookie, wait! It'll be... Brookie, come back! Oh, my gosh. Oh, Sarah is so rude. All right, I gotta go do some damage control. Brookie, are you okay? No. I wanted those Doritos. They were mine, and I'm really hungry. Well, I'll share my apple with you. You could have half of it. Thanks, Molly. It's really nice of you. But she's always bullying me, and I don't know what to do about it. We could tell the teacher. That's probably the best thing to do. Yeah, but it doesn't get my Doritos back. You know, Sarah just doesn't play by the rules. <sighs> she's so rude. But one day, it's going to catch up with her, Brookie. I hope so, Molly. I really hope so. Whoa, Brookie, you had a growth spurt. No wonder you're so hungry. I know, right? I can't get enough food lately. You're probably going to be like seven foot tall. You could be a basketball player. I love sports. That would be amazing. Come on, let's go eat my apple. Okay, Molly. Hey, where you guys been? Lunch is almost over. Well, it's a long story. Here you go, Brookie. Here's half. Thanks, Molly. But let's just say the story starts and ends with Sarah. Oh, no. What did she do now? Walk out in front of traffic, cheat on her test? No! She bullied Brookie and took her Doritos. Then Brookie cried in the bathroom. I had to give her a pep talk. And now I'm sharing my apple with her. Thank goodness I have friends like you guys. Or else I'd be hungry. Yeah, Sarah's just a bully. Someday she's going to learn her lesson. I agree, Molly. Someday she definitely will. Hey, guys, I have a great idea. What is it, Molly? While we're waiting for the school bus, why don't we play on the playground for a while? Ooh, I love that idea. Maybe it'll turn your frown upside down. It definitely did, Molly. You guys are my best friends. And we're your best friends, Brookie. Now we just have to wait for the school day to be over. Boring! Molly, maybe if you paid attention once in a while, you'd actually like the subject. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Wee! This is so much fun! I'm so glad we decided to come to the playground after school. Me too, Molly. This is so cool. Yeah, I love swinging on the swings. I haven't done this since, like, kindergarten. I know what you mean. Whoa! 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 I'm going super fast. Whoa! Molly, be careful. You're going to fall off of there. I'm going to jump. Whoa! <laughs> I actually jumped backwards. Did you guys see that? Yeah, that was insane, Molly. Maybe we should go down the slide next and go into the pool. Ow, you ran into me, Brookie. Stop running into me. Stop running into me. Um, Molly, you're standing in front of the swing. Maybe you shouldn't do that if you don't want someone to, um, like, run into you. Ah, uh, yeah, that that's a good point. Okay, who's going down the slide first? You are, Molly, since it was your idea. No one's going down the slide because I own it. I'm going to put my name on it, like, right now. What? You don't own the playground slide, Sarah. Yeah, I do. No one's allowed to come up here. I'm coming up there. Get out of here, seriously. Sarah, get out of the way. I want to go down the slide. No, no. And let me think about it for just a second. No. Seriously, you made me wait all that time just to say no? Let me think about it again. No. Whatever, Sarah. You're so rude. Ugh, she drives me insane. I know, tell me about it. Oh man, I forgot my backpack at school. I'll be right back. Hurry up, you're going to miss the bus. Whoa, here comes the bus. Come on, we don't want to miss it. Sarah, what are you doing? You have to look both ways. Whatever, I don't look both ways. Sarah, Sarah, oh my God, somebody called 911. Sarah got hit by the school bus. Sarah. Are you okay? Say something! It definitely hit her head! Oh my gosh, we need an ambulance! We need an ambulance! Oh my god, this isn't good. I called 911. The ambulance is on the way. Sarah! Just hold on! Hold on! Well, Sarah, it looks like you have a concussion. And also, your leg looks sprained. You're very lucky. I mean, having a school bus hit you, it, it could have killed you. Whatever. When can I get out of here? Uh, you definitely have to stay for the next two days for observation. We want to make sure that the concussion clears up before we send you on home. Ugh, this is so annoying. 
Just try to relax, Sarah. I'll have the cafeteria bring you in some dinner. Sarah! Sarah, are you okay? Who wants to know? It's me, Molly. Don't you recognize me? Yeah, I just didn't want to be bothered to look at you. Oh, I'm so annoyed right now. I'm in the hospital. Sarah! Oh my gosh! I, I, I thought maybe the bus had killed you! Well, obviously not. I'm still here talking. Yeah. So, so what did the doctor say? She said I have a concussion and I have a sprained leg, so I have to stay here for two days. Whoa! Sarah, you got lucky! You know when I said you should look both ways, and you said you don't follow the rules, and that's for babies? Yeah, I remember. Well, uh, I think you should start following the rules. What? Why? Because a school bus hit you, that's why! Why else? Ugh, I'm so irritated right now that I can't go and do what I want. Um, you would be able to do what you want if you would follow the rules. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should have looked both ways, because it did really hurt when that school bus hit me. Yeah, not to mention you scared the school bus driver half to death. She thought you were a raccoon. What? I don't even look like a raccoon. Why would you say that? Um, maybe you had some bags under your eyes or something. I do not look like a trash panda. Take that back right now. Sorry, Sarah, I can't. And you can't get out of the bed, so see you later. Molly, you come back here right now. I can't believe you called me a raccoon. Get back here. <laughs> Sarah finally learned her lesson. You should play by the rules. Especially look both ways, because, like, you know, a school bus might hit you or something. This has been a crazy day. Hey, Luke, when are you going to be home for dinner? Oh, hey, Mom. Uh, I'm going to be a little late tonight because um, I got a call, and the fire station is looking for volunteers to help feed the homeless, and, and they're giving them out free, like, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and chips and stuff, so is it okay if I go over there? Oh, sure, Luke. That sounds amazing. Wow. Luke actually volunteers to help the homeless? Ah, he's the best guy ever. Okay, honey. Well, I'll see you when you get home. Bye. Bye, Mom. Uh, hey, Luke, I couldn't help but hear you talking to your mom about um, how you were going to go help over at the, at the fire station. Uh, I, I would love to come help you. Oh, you would? Wow, Molly, that's great that you want to volunteer. Yeah, I have a heart of gold. Well, we have to leave right now. Do you want to ride? Yeah, I'd love to ride in your new car. It's amazing. Wow. <laughs> your family must have a ton of money. Yeah, but money's not that important to me, Molly. Helping people is so cool. Ah, you really do have a heart of gold. I try, Molly. I'm not perfect, but I like to consider myself a good person. Me too, Luke. Me too. You want to listen to some great music? I sure do. Let's do this. <laughs> I love this song. Me too. Wow. We have a lot in common, Molly. Yeah, I know. We really do. What? Why are we at the cemetery? Oh no, I'm just parking here because I don't want to be in the way of the fire trucks in case there's an actual fire. Oh, good point. Okay, where's all the homeless people? Don't worry, they'll be here soon enough. <sighs> they really need these peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They sometimes go days without snacks or food. Wow, that's terrible. Makes me really appreciate everything that I have. Oh, hi. I'm really hungry. I need something to eat. Oh, no problem, miss. I've got peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Lay's potato chips, and also you can have an orange or an apple. Which do you prefer? Well, my teeth aren't so good anymore, so an orange is way too crunchy. Um, I'll, I mean, an apple's too crunchy. I'll have an orange. Sorry, I'm not thinking quite straight. I haven't eaten in three days. Three days? Jiminy Cricket! I'd be lying on the ground if I hadn't eaten a cupcake in three days. Molly, try not to say mean things. Oh, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying, that's a long time to go without any sandwiches or fruit or anything. I'm so sorry you're going through this. How can I help you? Wow, Molly's a great person. I really like her. You do? Wow, it seems like you two are the best of friends, and you should probably be dating. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, uh... Um, yeah, um... <laughs> um, I'm not sure about that, but, I mean, Luke, you are 
pretty amazing. Aww. You are too, Molly. What? She has a crush on Luke? I have a crush on Luke. I have to do something to destroy this. Oh, look, there goes Sarah. Sarah! Oh, don't bother. She's probably got her own agenda. So, uh, Molly, do you want to ride home? Yeah, as soon as we finish up here, that sounds amazing. I'd love a ride home. See what I mean? You two belong together. <laughs> Thanks for the sandwich! <laughs> Either she's a singer, or she went a little crazy over the PB&J. <laughs> Time to ruin Molly and Luke's new special relationship. Ugh, makes me want to barf. Dear Molly, you are ugly and dumb, and I'd never go out with you in a million years. Love, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> now I just have to deliver this to Molly's house and boom, it'll all blow up in their faces. La 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 la, I'm so happy. Molly, what has gotten into you? Oh my God, two bunnies are kissing. That's adorable. Love is the best, love is the best. I love love. Molly, what on earth has gotten into you? What do you mean? Everything is beautiful. You're singing like a lunatic, seriously. Ooh, I was so excited I farted. <laughs> Ew, Molly, gross. Now seriously, what's gotten into you? Besides the bean burrito I ate for lunch? <laughs> oh, who are they? Yes, besides that. Um, well, Luke likes me. He likes me. He really, really likes me. Oh my god, you have a crush on Luke! And turns out, he has a crush on me too. Our relationship is going amazing. It is? How long have you been going out? Um, about... Well, we haven't actually officially said we're going out yet. Oh, so you're not even boyfriend and girlfriend yet? No, but we're gonna be. It's gonna be amazing. I've loved Luke since kindergarten, if I'm being honest. Who could that be? I bet it's Luke. It's Luke. He can't be away from me more than, than for more than like 30 minutes. Oh, hello. Uh, why are you saying that like you didn't know you came to my door, Sarah? I, I just, I wasn't, yeah, okay, yeah, I knew I was coming here, but I'm always disappointed to see you. Um, okay, thanks. Come in, I guess. I have this special delivery from Luke for you. Seriously? He, like, had you bring me an old-fashioned letter? Guacamole, that is, that is the sweetest thing ever! Yeah, um, open it. I, I want to see what he has to say. Wow, never took you as a hopeless romantic, Sarah. Dear Molly. Oh, just the way it's written there. Molly. Molly, he just said your name. Yeah, I know. He said my name! Okay, whatever. Just read the letter. You are ugly and dumb? <laughs> and I would never go out with you? Luke? What? Oh, wow. Guess it's not a happy ever after, after all. <laughs> Sarah, get out of my house! Whoa, Molly, chill out. Well, she's being so rude to me about it. I mean, Luke and I were meant to be together. I don't think so. Pretty sure that's not the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh, Molly, it'll be okay. There's lots of fish in the sea, so they say. I don't want any other fish. I only want the Luke fish. <laughs> Maybe I just read it wrong. Maybe if I turn the letter upside down, it, it reads that I'm beautiful and he thinks I'm super smart and amazing. Okay, uh, no, it's just hard to read upside down. It does say I'm dumb and ugly. <laughs> That's it. I don't want this heart. This heart is painful. <laughs> Goodbye, heart. I'm flushing you down the toilet. Ugh, why won't you fix, fit down the toilet? Oh, you annoying box. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll just throw it over here in the corner. I don't want to have this heart. I don't want it. I don't want it. These Reese cups are pretty good, I guess. Molly, you're eating all the Reese's. We were supposed to share those. We got those for Easter. I don't care what you want. 
Whoa, Molly, what's gotten into you? Did you bonk your head? Don't talk to me that way. It's rude. You're such a nice sister most of the time. I don't care what you think of me. I don't care what you want. And I don't care if I eat your Easter candy. Oh. Bye. Oh. Molly, what's gotten into you? Molly. Okay, class, today we're going to be learning about the love sonnets from William Shakespeare. What's that crunching sound? Molly, you know there's no snacks in class, especially loud, crunchy Doritos. I don't really care what you want. Molly, that's not appropriate to talk to your teacher that way. It's disrespectful. I don't care. I'm eating these Doritos. Molly. I worked very hard on this for you guys. I think you're gonna really like this lesson, especially since you have a crush on. Don't even say his name. I don't wanna hear it. And I don't care about love sonnets. I don't care about this school and I don't care about anything. Molly, uh, you're leaving me no choice but get to give you detention. Uh-huh, whatever. Can't hear you over my crunching. Mm. Delicious. What on earth has gotten into Molly? She's acting so strangely. This is not the sister I know. I mean, she can be a brat and a real pain sometimes, but she's not cruel. What happened to her heart? I, I feel like she stuck it in a box somewhere and forgot about it. Wait, something tells me that's exactly what she would have done. After she read that horrible note from Luke, she would have just taken her heart and and stored it away and tried not to feel those horrible emotions. Good thing I have this heart detector that I built in my science lab. <laughs> I really do think of everything. Wait, why is it pointing me towards the bathroom? Why am I going into the bathroom? I said heart detector, not fart detector. Molly's heart? I knew she locked her heart away in a box never to feel her emotions ever again. Oh, Molly, why did you do this to yourself? Hey, where did you find that? Apparently you were trying to flush your heart down the toilet. I don't need a heart. Hearts are evil. They, they make you feel pain. Well, that's true, Molly. Everyone experiences pain at some point in their lives. But to just lock your heart away is, well, it's, it's sad. I don't care. I don't care about anything. Molly, listen. You also can't feel joy or happiness or laughter or fun. What? Yes, I can. Look at me. I'm super happy. Molly, look at your face. You're practically a zombie. Well, I guess you have a point. Molly, this is not who you are. Really and truly, you're a good person. You have a heart of gold. And just because Luke broke it doesn't mean that you should give up on life. Well, I guess you sort of have a point now come on molly let's restore your heart back to your spirit whoa my heart it's back oh i missed it so much except for that pain oh luke molly try not to think of those things as much maybe think about the fun things the happy things and well you could deal with the pain a little bit at a time. Yeah, I guess. I should have never locked my heart away, but this letter really hurt my feelings. Wait a minute, Molly. That doesn't look like Luke's handwriting. Sometimes I help the teacher grade homework. Luke has way sloppier handwriting than that. That looks like Sarah's handwriting. Wait, what? Sarah wrote me a fake letter from Luke? Why? Only one reason, Molly, to destroy your happiness. Are you gonna let her? No way! I'm keeping my heart for good! Even if it hurts sometimes. Good choice, Molly. Good choice. Wow! I'm starving! I wonder what's for dinner! Mom! Mom! Yes, Molly, what's up? Is it almost time for dinner? Yep, dinner's on the table. What? Hot dogs? That's it? Well, your mother's very busy, you know, trying to put together this huge camping trip for our family tomorrow. Well, a hot dog's good for me. I guess. I may be better if we could have cupcakes for dessert. Hey guys, what's for dinner? Ooh, 
Hot dogs fancy. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing fancy about hot dogs. I know, Molly, it was a joke. Um, pass the hot dogs over here, please. Okay, Daisy. I have a little bit of watermelon I couldn't fit in the cooler, so you guys can have that for dessert. Ooh, watermelon. I love it. Mmm. So, girls, we have to get up very early in order to make it to our campsite in the morning. We have to wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. What? Holy guacamole! I can't wake up at 6 a.m. Like, seriously, no one in the world gets up at 6 a.m. Actually, I get up at, like, 6 a.m. every single day to go to work. O-M-G! I hope I never become a grown-up then because, holy guacamole, I don't want to go to a job. Anyway, guys, you guys need to go in and get a good night's sleep, and we'll see you tomorrow in the morning at 6 a.m., bright and early. Okay, Mom. I still think this is a crazy plan. Well, we have a long drive ahead of us, so, you know, gotta get up early. Okay, good night. I'm not going to bed right now. It's like 7 o'clock. Too early. Too early. I'm gonna play a game. What am I gonna play? <gasps> I know. I'll play Piggy. Ha, 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 ha. Ah, ah, Piggy! You're so creepy! Oh, wait a minute. Well, what's this? Whoa, Molly, it's the new level of Piggy! Daisy, why are you in my room? I don't know, I'm just kind of bored. Who goes to bed at 7 o'clock? I mean, cheapos creepers, just because we have to wake up at 6 a.m. doesn't mean that we have to go to bed so early. Exactly what I thought! Molly, can I watch you play Piggy? Of course you can! Molly, watch out! There's Piggy! Holy guacamole, Piggy is so creepy. I mean, why do they have to give it a laser eye? I think that's the point, Molly, to make it as creepy as possible. Well, Daisy. <sighs> Molly, are you getting tired? N no, absolutely not. I just need a snack, that's all. Hey, Molly, what are you still doing up? It's getting really late. Uh, no, it's only like 7 o'clock. Molly, look at your clock. It's like 1.30 in the morning. What? Oh, wow. Sorry, Dad. I'll just eat this Pop-Tart and I'll go right to bed. Uh, well, it's like 2.40 in the morning. I guess I should finally go to bed. Don't want to miss, on our big miss out on our big trip tomorrow. Uh, see you in the morning. Let's see, I made this list, but it's an entire book of stuff I need to do. Don't worry, honey. I'll take care of all of the stuff, packing it into the car outside and getting our bicycles packed and... Okay, get going because we need to leave really soon. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pack like the thousand suitcases. I don't know why we need all of those suitcases. Because we need outfits for every single thing we do, duh. Um, okay. Okay, the first thing I need to do is get all the food out of the refrigerator. Oh my gosh, I hope we're not late. I mean, we have to be at our campsite at a very specific time or we'll miss out on whitewater rafting. And then after that, we're going to do a hike. And then after that, we're going to see the waterfall. And after that, we're going to go to the um, wild animal safari. And then, oh, there's so many things to do and I don't want to miss any of it. There, I don't know how I did it, but I managed to cram a thousand suitcases into this trunk. Oh, life with girls. Honey, are we all ready to go? We don't want to be late. Did you seriously just jump over the hedge in our backyard? Yeah, I was taking a shortcut. I don't want to be late. Okay, well, come on. I think I've got everything. Yeah, I feel like we're missing something. Are, are we missing anything? Nah, I double-checked. Besides, did you bring your list? Yep, and it looks like we got everything on the list. We're ready for our vacation. Let's go. Okay, let me just start the car. Are you kidding me? The car's going to start right. Yeah, why wouldn't it? Because this car sometimes gives us problems, and I can't be late for my vacation. I've been waiting for this for months. Nope, car seems fine. Let's go. Ah, mm. ah, I must have not heard my alarm. What time is it? 7.47. Oh, no, I overslept. Mom? Mom, Dad, I'm sorry I overslept. Huh, you must be out packing stuff in the car. Ooh, she forgot to pack these grapes, and I'm starving. She won't mind if I eat them. Mmm, delicious. Hello, is anybody here? Hey, maybe they overslept too. Mom, Dad? Nope, they didn't oversleep. Mom, Dad? Wait, what? Wh where's our car? Daisy? Daisy? Oh my 
God, I gotta find my sister. I, I don't see the car. TC! <laughs> TC, wake up, wake up, wake up! Marty, why are you jumping in my head right now, dude? TC, look at the time. It's 8.30 in the morning. Oh, brother, we overslept all our alarms. I know, oh my gosh. And we got another problem. What is it, Marty? I can't find mom and dad. Oh, they're probably just outside packing up the car. And they were going to come in and wake us up any minute. No! The car is gone! What? Are you kidding me? Where'd they go? Daisy, I hate to tell you this, but I think mom and dad forgot us at home and went on vacation without us. What? No! Oh my gosh, what are they going to do? We're home alone! I don't know, but I'm sad because I wanted to go to the wildlife refuge. I wanted to do so many things on vacation and now I can't. Marty, they're probably just in the backyard taking out the trash. Okay, I'm going to look for them. TC, they're not here! Molly, seriously? They forgot their kids when they went on vacation? Rude! O-M-G! Molly, did you just close the door? Because I think it just locked behind us. And now we're standing out here in the rain! Okay, well, I left the front door open. Oh, but well, though, how are we going to survive this whole week without our parents and just you here? I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to go insane! I'm not going to survive this! Daisy, pull it together! We have to remain calm. We are stuck together all by ourselves for an entire week. Come on in. Oh, sure, it stops raining as soon as we walk inside. It figures. Okay, so what should we do? Molly, is that mom's cell phone over there? Oh, no. Is that dad's cell phone over there? They forgot their cell phones at home. No, remember they said they were going to leave them at home because we were going off the grid? We are going back in time? No cell phones, you know, basically to the age of the dinosaurs. <laughs> Molly, oh, that's bad. That's bad. They have no way for us to get a hold of them. Well, yes, we're going to be here all week by ourselves. Uh, Molly, I don't know if that's a good thing. Oh, I don't know, Daisy. I think this could be a very good thing. A very good thing. Molly, are you seriously just hanging in the hot tub? Yeah, like all day, every day, till midnight. <laughs> well, Molly, I guess staying home alone won't be so bad. Oh, Molly, look, it says we've got house bills to pay. I don't care about the bills. Do I look like the grown-up that lives here? No way, I'm not. I'm gonna chill in the hot tub. You know what this needs? What, well, Molly? Cupcakes or treats or snacks! <laughs> yeah! That would make this the best vacation ever! It's a staycation, of course. Um, let's see what we have in the fridge. Oh! My gosh! Okay, well, here's blueberry muffins. I guess that'll do. Molly, you're not making cupcakes? Um, no, they don't have the ingredients for cupcakes. We have no car to get to the store. That's a really long walk. Oh, brother, Molly. Okay, I'm gonna mix some blueberry muffins. It's gonna be so delicious. Molly, if you sing this entire time, you have to sleep outside. <laughs> rude, Daisy, rude. Guess you're not getting any of my muffins. You better share, Molly! What? I can't hear you! You can't hear you! You're yelling from the other room! You better give me some of those muffins, Molly. Well, I'm gonna make sure that your week isn't very fun! What? You better be a nice sister! No, I don't have to be if I don't want you. <laughs> well, you should be. I'll try, Molly, but you make it difficult. Yeah, this isn't so bad after all. Who's gonna eat the last muffin? Not really sure. Hey, who was that? Molly, what was that? It's some sort of person trying to break into our house. Yeah, what are they doing in our backyard? I don't know, Molly, but I've creeped out and we're all here alone. Um, I don't know what to do. Molly, wait a minute. That looks like Dad. Dad? Girls! Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Your mom and I got down the road and, um, uh, well, uh, we realized we had forgotten something really important. Was it the grapes? I already ate those. Sorry. No, silly. Well, yeah, the grapes. But also you guys! Oopsie. 
Hey, who made these muffins? They look delicious. Um, me and hello, you're winning worst dad of the year award. You forgot us at home. Well, we only were down the road about an hour or two before we turned around to get you. And we were even willing to sacrifice our uh, miking adventure to make sure you guys were actually on the vacation with us. Gee, thanks, Dad. Well, if you girls had woken up at 6 a.m., maybe this wouldn't be happening right now. I think you girls stayed up way too late. Okay, Dad, you forgot us. Just admit it. He admitted it, Molly. Don't let it happen again, Dad, or you're grounded. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Starbrook's Coffee. What can I get for you today? Ugh, it's that girl I go to school with, Mom. She's like really chipper. It's annoying. Um, excuse me. We just don't want you to be so happy first thing in the morning. Like, we haven't even had our coffee yet. Oh, sorry. Um, that's just part of the Starbrook's way. Everyone is happy. Yeah, but we're the customers, so we're always right, and we're saying you're annoying. Oh, okay, um, I'm sorry for being annoying. What, what can I get for you? Didn't we just tell you? Okay, one coffee for you, and another coffee for Sarah. <laughs> um, yeah, if you want to leave me a tip, there is a chip, tip jar over there. How rude, did she just ask for a tip? No, I didn't ask for one, I just said there's a tip jar. Seriously, why would we give you a tip? You're doing your job. Oh, well, it's customary to give a barista a tip. Whatever. Do I look like I'm ordinary or want to give you a tip? I don't do what everyone else does. Yeah, I didn't raise my daughter to be ordinary. Besides, you already get paid enough, don't you? Well, I'm not driving a Ferrari like you guys are. <laughs> and I probably won't off tips, but you know, it's an honest living and I'm glad to have a job. Whatever, I wasn't even listening. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, Sarah, let's go. Yeah, mom, I'm already on my way out. Have a nice day. <sighs> Sometimes this job is so hard. Oh, look, my Amazon Prime is here. Can't wait to get all this new makeup. What? Why does it sound like a box is crying? Well, Mom, maybe you just spent so much on your credit card, it's your credit card crying. Whatever, Sarah. This was a perfect purchase. This makeup is amazing. <coughs> Mom, I don't think that's your makeup from Amazon. You better check it out. <sighs> Fine. What's this? A kid? I didn't order this. Yeah, Mom, I would definitely give that seller on Amazon a one star. You ordered makeup and you got a baby? How annoying. She's not even, like, cute. Look at her. And she talks a lot. Do you think Amazon would take a return on this? Probably not. What are we going to do with it? Well, I guess we could keep it, Sarah, and, like... We need a housekeeper and stuff, and we need a cook, so this this baby could grow up and do that. Well, Mom, that's not a bad idea. Fine. We'll keep it then. Mommy! 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 Who are you calling Mommy? I'm not your Mommy. Oh, but you adopted me, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I guess, sort of. What do you want? You're being annoying, and I'm trying to watch my TV show. Yeah, Mom, tell her to go away. Um, I'm sorry, um, I was just wondering, there's a playgroup at the park, could, could I go? Absolutely not. Now go make me a snack, I'm hungry. But, but, Mommy, I... I told you, I'm not your mom. Okay, um, I was just wondering, um, Karen, can, can, can... No, you can't have any treats either, now go make me a snack. Make me one too. Okay. I just feel like I never get to go do anything. I'm always just making their snacks and, and I never get any break. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll get them each a piece of pizza. They'll probably like that. My own stomach is growling and I probably can't even eat anything because they're mean. What did you say? Did you just call me mean? Um, no, I, I didn't call you mean. I, I, I mean, okay, I, I sort of did. 
Don't you lie to me, child. You know what? Since you're a liar, go stand in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> go stand in the corner. Fine. <laughs> I wish I didn't have to live here anymore. <laughs> don't cry. It's super annoying. We can't hear it over the TV. Yeah, you don't have to be in timeout, but just like vacuum the floor and stuff. You know, I'm not your maid. Actually, yes, you are. We give you a roof over your head and we give you food in your stomach and clothes on your back. So basically, you have to do whatever we say. I mean, we could have just left you in the Amazon box or we could have returned you. Okay, fine. I'll do the chores. I don't like my life. I want a real family. <laughs> I want a real family. It's like I don't even belong here. How did I just show up in a box? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Less crying, more vacuuming. Mom, I can't even take her. I'm going upstairs right now. Okay, honey. Sure, go right ahead. Well, are you going to get the door or not? Um, yeah, I can get the door, sure. Hi, Bear. Um, you can come in if you want. Oh, why, thank you. And who might you be? My name's Annabelle. Well, hello, Annabelle. I'm here because I am on a mission from the Queen and King. Really? About what? You said the Queen and King? What's this all about? You know, my daughter, who, not this one, she's not my real daughter. Oh, she isn't? Where did she come from? Who cares about her? My other daughter is definite princess material. Is your prince dating at this point? Uh, yes, he is, but he's not looking for any new princesses or anything like that. He has a girlfriend he likes very much. Well, my daughter is definitely the best princess of them all. So why are you here? Yeah, I'm a, I'd be like the best, best princess. Wait, so I'm confused. Are you a princess already? Well, yeah, in my mom's mind, I am. But you are you an actual official princess? This is confusing. No, she's not, but we're just saying she'd make an amazing princess so the prince could marry her. Um, okay, you're confusing me right now, and I'm not here for this. I'm here because the king and queen are looking for their little girl. Wait, what? They had a daughter, too? Yes, and an evil witch cursed her so she didn't remember anything and took her far away. Whoa, I wonder who we could be talking about. Oh, I wish I was the lost princess. These two aren't a very nice family. Well, we don't know who you're talking about. Um, actually, this little girl looks a lot like the king and queen. I'd like to question her. Whatever. She's just our maid. Oh, well, how did you get here, little girl? Um, she told me that I showed up in a box on the doorstep. Oh, and you didn't call the authorities? Well, no. I thought... Um, when she grew up a little, she could do the chores, and I would give her a place to live. It's been miserable! I don't like it at all! Oh, I'm sorry, little girl, but I can't take you with me unless you actually belong to the king and queen. Oh, okay, well, I'm sure I'm not a princess. Well, we'll see about that. Our scientists at the castle have just come up with this. What is that? It is a royalty detector. If this little girl has any royalty in her, it will detect it right away. I'm sure I'm not a princess. There's nothing special about me. That's right. You're not special at all. Actually, the, the royal detector is going crazy. I think this might be the lost princess. What? Me? The lost princess? Your parents have been missing you terribly. Oh, we had to make sure that the Wicked Witch was actually gone from Brookhaven before we could search for you. That's what took so long. We didn't want to curse you and turn you into a frog or something like that. Ugh, oh, whatever. She's not a princess. She's nothing more than a servant. Actually, it seems that I am a princess. Goodbye, evil number one and grumpy number two. You're both a bunch of evil Karens. I'm going with this nice man. 
That's right, the king and queen will be so happy to see you. Come on, Annabelle. Goodbye and good riddance! Whoa, a limo! I'm definitely gonna go to the castle in style. Only the best for our little princess. Yeah, I could get used to this. What kind of music do you like? Oh, my mom! Actually, she's not my mom. She never lets me pick the music! Well, I will! I present to you your daughter, Annabelle. Annabelle? Annabelle? Is that you? Oh my gosh, she she looks just like us. Mom? Dad? Annabelle! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see you! Your dad and I have missed you so much. An evil witch took you away from us, but never again. That's right, dear. We're a happy family now. Oh, I had the most horrible people take me in. Ugh, they made me do chores and they never let me have snacks or go to play groups. Well, you tell us who they are and we'll make them work in the laundry room at the castle. Yeah, dear. Oh, I don't think so. I don't want them around anymore. I'm just glad I have you guys. And we're glad we have you. Aw, a family. A real family. Oh my gosh, this painting of this unicorn is coming out adorable. I also painted this one over here on my wall that's like, um, got, <laughs> got this adorable unicorn dancing. I think that it came out awesome, so I had to hang it on my wall. Um, and I did not paint that one over there. This is magical. I got that for Christmas. And then I actually took these out of a magazine because I think they're so adorable. There's this little Pomeranian um, puppy and a guinea pig. I want a guinea pig so bad. Um, we might get one as a class pet. I'm not sure yet, but wouldn't that be awesome? I want to name it Bubba. <laughs> I think that's funny. Okay, time to go annoy my sister. See what she's doing. Annoy me? I don't think so, Molly. I couldn't be annoyed even if I tried. Hey, what are you making? It looks like something is going to be delicious. Yep, Molly, I'm making something delicious. But it's sort of a surprise, so you're going to have to wait and see. No, it's not a surprise. If you make it look like that, then it's definitely cookies. Oh, Molly, you weren't supposed to peek. I was going to surprise you with them. Really? You were making cookies for me? Even though I'm your annoying sister? Well, even though sometimes you drive me crazy, Molly, you're still my sister and I love you. Oh, Daisy, I could give you a huge hug right now. No, Molly, no hugs. I'm trying to make these cookies. Come on, Daisy, give me a huge hug. Okay, Molly. <laughs> love you, sis. I love you too, Molly, even though you're the world's most annoying sister. Right back at you, Daisy. Right back at you. Speaking of sisters, where's baby Kira? Oh, Mom took her to baby school. Baby school? What's that? Oh, it's like gymnastics, but for babies. Oh, that sounds kind of fun, actually. Do you just run around and go, Goo, goo, ga, ga, and then do a somersault? Pretty much, Molly, pretty much. Wow, these cookies look delicious. Totally need to eat one. Go ahead, Molly, but don't eat all of them. Baby Kira needs some, too. Okay. Mmm. Wow, Daisy. You're a good baker. Those are delicious. Thanks, Molly. I thought they were good, too. Hey, is someone at the door? I'll go check. I didn't hear anybody knocking, but maybe. Does somebody do, Molly? I just know it. I heard it go knock, knock. Hey, uh, it's Sarah. Hello? Are you going to let me in or not? Sarah, but, but I didn't even let you in. What are you doing? Um, I've decided I'm hanging out with you babies today at your house. Um, okay. Well, you might want to start by closing the door and not being rude. Ooh, cookies. I totally want one of those. 
Hey, those are for my baby sister. Okay, Sila, you can have one, but don't eat them all. I'm really hungry. I want to eat all of them. Hey, don't eat all of them. They're for baby Kira and my mom. Wait. Oh, my gosh. She ate all of the cookies, Daisy. Sila. Now I'm feeling like a super like I need to chill out for a while. But, but, oh my gosh. Is she seriously going in our hot tub right now? Um, well, at least can I come in? Um, no. There's not room for all of us. What are you talking about? This is a four-person hot tub. Yeah, but right now, it's just for me. Silva, that's not nice. You're not even showing. And I wait a minute. We didn't even invite you over here. I don't need an invitation. I'm just cool enough that I can go wherever I want, babies. Uh, could you please stop calling us babies? We're basically in the same exact grade as you. Um, I don't know why, because you're total babies. Okay, um, I'm not hanging out in there. That just seems like a bad idea. I'm gonna turn on the TV and... Ew, I wonder what they're cooking. That looks like it's a good thing to watch. I don't want to watch this. Oh, the brightly colored unicorn! Um, that's for babies. Grown-ups watch the news. The news? Boring! Why would you want to watch that? And hey, this is my house. Um, not today it's not. I've decided that everything in this house is mine. Um, no? Yeah, and you can't stop me. Mom! Mom! Watch me stop you. Mom! Molly, did you forget? Mom's not home. She took baby Kira to baby school. Oh, rats. My mom's not even here. Okay, well, if she's going to watch that TV, I know what I'll do. I'll just work on my painting some more. Uh, da -da, da -dee 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 -dee. Oh, this looks great. I don't like that at all. It's ugly. Hey, don't be rude. That's my painting. Whatever. This is my room for the day. Uh, no way. This is my room, Sarah. No, and I'm going to watch this in here. Okay, I need to run away. Seriously, this is getting so bad. I'm going outside. I can't even deal with this right now. Molly, me too. Can you believe Sarah? She just came over to our house and is bullying us. I know, she's being so rude. Ah, a soak in the pool will make this all better. Agreed, Molly. Let's just hang out here to see leaves. Did somebody say leave? Yeah, I think you guys should because I want to get in the pool. Why are you following us everywhere and just being rude? This isn't even your house, Sarah. Well, for today it is. And, um, whatever. I mean, like, I can play here if I want to. I'm running away. That's it. I'm running away. Molly, no, don't run away without me. I'm coming too. Okay, you can come too, Daisy. Really? Yeah. For once, you and I are going to get along just fine. I mean, jeez. Who wants to be around her if she's being so rude and, like, bullying us? Ooh, some peace and quiet. Finally, Molly. Yeah, huh. Sometimes I write in my diary out here. Whoa, you write in your diary a lot. Look at all of that papers out here. Did somebody say diary? No, I didn't say diary. There's no diary out here. What's that on the table? Is that your diary? I'm totally going to read it. Get away from that, Sarah. No, get away from my diary. Get out of here. Whatever. I can read your diary if I want to. Um, no, I'm taking my diary and I'm leaving. Oh, I cannot wait till my mom gets home. Why? So you can be a tattletale? Daisy, hurry. Come on. Let's lock her out. Molly, that's not nice. Daisy, hurry! Oh, oh, okay, go lock the front door. Okay, I locked it. Hey, what do you guys think you're doing? Hey! Oh, my gosh. Molly, I don't know if we should have locked her out. Are you crazy? She's being a bully. I'm not bullying you. I'm just saying you're a baby. Hey, how'd you get in here? Okay, Sarah, I want to show you something. Come here for a minute. Okay. What is it? It better be cool. Um, come right through this door right here. And then go out by that tree. Okay, lock the door! Ha! 
Hey, you tricked me. You're a rotten baby. Whoa, she just called me rotten. I don't think that's very nice of her. Me either. Good riddance, Sarah. But I still feel like we shouldn't knock her out. What? Why? Well, Molly, I have to tell you a sad story. What? You do? Do I need a box of tissues? Maybe, Molly. Maybe. Come sit down. Okay, what's this sad story about? It's about Sarah, Molly. Okay, what is it? You see, Sarah is, well, she's a bully. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe she has her reasons. But the thing is, is that she doesn't have any friends. And that's why she continues to bully. Really? She doesn't have any friends, not even one? Not that I know of, Molly. Not even one friend at all. Wow, that is seriously sad. I know, and that's why she's mean to everybody, because she just feels like she has absolutely no friends. But she started bullying, so now it's kind of her fault that she has no friends. I know, Molly, you see, I don't know why she started bullying, but now that she started, well, she just feels mad that she has absolutely no friends at all. Yeah, that would make me feel mad and sad and, and just bad. Yeah, so she just tries to bully to get attention and, and you know, I don't know, just be mean, I guess. Well, I don't know what to do. I mean, if she's going to be a bully, like, she's not going to have friends. Maybe we should try to be her friend, Molly. What? Are you crazy? No, that's a terrible idea. No, it's not, Molly. Maybe if she has some friends, she won't be so rude anymore. Having friends makes me smile. Oh, I cannot believe you're talking me into this right now, Daisy. Trust me about this, Molly. I know what I'm talking about. Come on. Oh, Sarah the bully is going to be my friend. Okay, but I have to tell her. You're not allowed to be mean if you want to be my friend. Okay, Molly, you can tell her, Dad. Hopefully she listens. Sarah! Sarah, where are you? Sarah, we want to talk to you. Sarah! Sarah! She's gone, Molly. Oh, wait, she's over there. What, what do you want? What do you babies want? Were you just crying, Sarah? No, I wasn't crying. Go away. Sarah, it's okay if you were crying. We weren't trying to be mean to you, except for you were just being really mean to us. We were like, ah, oh, we don't want to be your friend. But we don't think you have any friends. And maybe that's why you're so grumpy and mean all the time. What? No, I have friends. What are you talking about? Sarah, we see you at school and you sit by yourself all alone in the lunchroom. That's because everyone's a baby and I don't want to sit by them. Sarah, it's okay to admit that you don't have friends. And you know what? If you'll be nice, Daisy and I will be your friend. Nice? I'm always nice. Um, well, no, no, not really, Sarah. Sometimes you're pretty rude. Yeah, Sarah, sometimes you're rude. And we can say that to you because now we're your friends. Friends? I don't need to be friends with babies. Too bad, Sarah. Now you've got friends. You're stuck with us. You're you're gonna be my friends for for real? Yep, for real, Sarah. For real. Yep, Sarah. Friends for life. Molly, are you coming to study hall? Huh? Nah, I'm going to stay here in the gym and work on my um, jump shot. But Molly, gym class is over. I don't really have anything to study and I prefer staying in the gym. Study hall is so boring. Okay, well, suit yourself. I don't want to be late. Bye. Bye. I think I did awesome in the just this gym class. I um, got so many baskets. It was awesome. You think you actually did good? Who said that? Oh, should have known it was Sarah. Sarah, I don't want to talk to you right now. Did you just throw that ball at my head? No, not really. <laughs> kind of, sort of, maybe. That was rude. Sorry, um, I did, really didn't mean to. Well, I'm the best basketball player. Everyone in gym class saw it today. No, they didn't. You know I'm a great basketball player. I even made it onto the team. What team? There's only a boys team. Yeah, but one time I dressed up as a boy and then tried out for the team and I made it. I don't believe you. Whatever. Look at that. I just got another one. 
You're just a loser. No, I'm not. I'm great at basketball. <sighs> Whatever. I'm great at cheerleading. I'm great at all of my schoolwork. I'm great at everything, including basketball. Yeah, okay, if you say so. Well, if you don't think so, why don't we just have a competition? Yeah, okay, we can have a competition. Whoever gets the most baskets wins. Yeah, um, let's say in one minute. One minute? Like guacamole! That's not very much time. What are you, chicken? No, I'm not chicken. I can do it. Then let's get started. I'll go first. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, she's getting so many baskets. How am I gonna ever win? Oh, I wanna be the best basketball player. She always bullies me and I wanna show her that I'm good at something. Okay, Molly, you can do this. You can do this. Time's up. I got 50 baskets. 50? Holy guacamole. Your turn, loser. You can't keep throwing baskets. Your turn's over, Sarah. Sarah! Okay, whatever. You're so annoying. On your mark and set, go. One. Two. Oh my gosh, I've gotten every one so far. I'm doing really good. Oh no, I missed that one. It's okay. I'm okay. okay watch this. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> that was amazing. Your time's almost up. Okay, I've, I've got to do more. I've got to do more. <laughs> 51, 51. I win, I win. Oh yeah? <laughs> now who's the loser? Ah! Oh, Sarah, you, you pushed me. Oh, I hit my head. I don't feel so good. Uh. Oh, sucks to be you. I'm out of here. Molly, you're going to miss English. Molly? Ma Molly! Oh, my God, Molly, somebody called 911. Okay, let's see. Molly, hmm. Okay, are you the sister? Yes. <laughs> Is she going to be okay? Well, your sister actually suffered a pretty bad bonk on the head. I know. Sarah pushed her. She got in school suspension for it. Wow. Sounds serious. Well, um, I don't know about that drama, but your sister got a bad concussion and now has amnesia. Amnesia. Is that where they can't remember who they are? That's exactly what happened. I don't know if your sister's memory will ever return. Ah, ba, 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 ba. Who am I? Yo, Molly! Don't you remember? The best thing you can do is try to jar her memory. Ah, but I don't hold a lot of hope for your sister. But thanks for the positivity! Ay, 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 the doctor's around you. Who am I? Yo, Molly! Who am I? Yo, Molly! Who are you? I'm Daisy. I'm Daisy. No, you're Molly. You're Molly. I'm Daisy. No, you're Molly. Who am I? Oh, boy. Baby, if I remind you with some of the amazing memories we had together, I remember one time like it was yesterday. We are um, having our summer break starting today, and we're at the lake. Yeah, we're going to have so much fun. Daisy, I didn't ask you, ask you to be in this scene. Well, I'm a part of this channel, too. I could be in it if I want to. Okay, close up of just me because I don't want my sister to be in it. Molly, rude! Ah, oh, fine. I guess you can say hi, too. Of course I can, Molly. Hi, everybody. It's Stacy, the star of the show. No, I'm the star. No, I'm the star. No, I'm the star. Molly, seriously, can we both be the stars? Nope, just me. Whatever. I'm going to go get in the water. I can't deal with my sister anymore. This is going to be the longest summer break ever. I'm already missing school. Yeah, you would miss school. It's just like you to miss school. Ooh, the lake feels awesome today. Yeah, it's nice and warm. Ah, this is the life. When I grow up, I'm just going to be on vacation permanently. Molly, you have to have a job. No, I don't. Who says? Um, well, if you're going to be able to afford to come to the lake every day, you got to have money. Ugh, there's that naggy thing about having money. I wish I could just, like, 
chill out all day long. Molly, what are you doing? I'm starting a fire so we can roast marshmallows. <sighs> Wee! I get what you get for me, yeah. Don't, don't get in the cooler, Mom didn't say. Molly, she can have something to drink if she wants. Just because she's little, she's still thirsty sometimes. Don't you want a baba? No, I can't get to buy a soda. Soda? Ugh, you're so grown up, baby Kira. Molly, do you remember me now? Huh? Who, who's Molly? Molly, you're Molly. Do you remember yourself? Who are you? I'm your sister, Daisy. Okay, I'm gonna have to tell her more memories. I also remember when... <laughs> Baby Kira, I promise it's really not that bad. Our dentist is so nice and, and, and well, it doesn't hurt or anything. She's freaking out. It's no use. Hello, who's next? Oh, Molly, Daisy, and a brand new patient. Baby Kira. Yeah, my sister is freaking out. Well, come on, baby Kira. Let's see if we can turn that frown upside down. I got good dentist. No, I freak out. No, no, no. You won't freak out. Come on. I'll hold your hand. La, 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 la. My sister is freaking out. I'm going to sit here with her, though, because I'm a nice big sister like that. Okay, baby Kira, dry your eyes. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, I try. You know what always makes a lot of my patients feel better? A new little friend. I got a monkey. Whoa, I never got a monkey. I want a monkey. You're a big kid now, Molly. But baby Kira is, well, just little. How about this adorable monkey? Do you want to give him a squeeze? Maybe a little hug? I got him. I, I named him uh, Marvin. Wow, <laughs> that's a very interesting name. Marvin the monkey. Okay, what's his name for sure? Marv. Oh, okay. Marv the monkey. I tell monkey go kill. All right. Now those tears are drying up real quick. Now we're going to tickle your teeth. That's right. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> I just realized that my dentist is a little cray cray, but it's all right. She's super nice, right? I think. Am I going to have to have a real canal? I hope not, Molly. <laughs> and I'm crazy for teeth. I love teeth. I love teeth. I love teeth. Yes, I do. I love teeth. How about you? Brushing, flossing, make them shine. That's how I've kept my teeth of mine. Wow, Dr. Payne. Good thing you became a dentist because your singing voice is well. Oh, <laughs> I know I'm not the best singer, but I'm happy to be a dentist. Well, if that's your calling in life. I don't, I don't want to, Abel. Oh, I haven't even tickled your teeth yet. Okay, let's tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickling your teeth. Huh, well, I guess baby Kira isn't so sad anymore. Look at her face. And her teeth are super shiny and white. <laughs> I think that she's going to love the dentist from here on out. Okay, baby Kira, you're all done. Uh, and just for being a good girl, I'm going to give you a coupon for a free donut at Starbucks. I get donut, you hear that? I get donut. Oh, wow. <laughs> is it my turn next? Sure is, Molly. Okay, let me take a look. Hmm. Have you been brushing? Uh-huh. And flossing? Uh, well, um, uh, Molly. <gasps> you haven't been flossing? That's disappointing. I know, I'm sorry. I'll try harder. What's this blue stuff in between your teeth? Uh, <laughs> uh, blueberries, yeah. Um, more like blueberry icing from a blueberry donut. I'm very sorry, Molly, but you have a cavity. What? What? A cavity? Oh, no. Yep, I'll just need to give you a little bit of a shot. Nope, nope, I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, it's Daisy's turn. Daisy! Molly, it's your turn. Come on. Next time, maybe you'll floss and eat less donuts. Oh, man. Molly, do you remember who you are now? Mm, this is good. What is this? It's called a hot dog. But do you remember who you are? Mmm, hot dogs are delicious. No, I still have no clue who I am. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I also remember when... 
It's okay, Molly. It'll pass in a minute. Oh my gosh, it's like raining so hard. Let me under there too. You losers need to move over. She already told you our name isn't Luzo. Look, Molly, the sun is coming out. Yeah, only one problem. The entire park is flooded. Oh man, this totally ruined our amazing summer park day. Only if you let it, loser. Um, seriously, can you start calling me Molly? I don't like being called loser. We could do other cool things. I thought we were losers. You want to hang out with us now? Well, there's no one else to hang out with. Come on, let's do a dare. I don't think so. That sounds like a really bad idea. We sh it's raining again, Molly. Maybe we should just get going home. No, Daisy, I don't want to just give up. I mean, we only have so many summer days, and then it'll be school time again. True. Okay, Sarah, what's the deal you're thinking of? I'm thinking that you should um swing as high as you can and then jump off. That's a terrible idea, Molly. Don't take the deal. I dare you, Molly. Um, yeah, I, I don't think that's such a good idea. I double dog dare you. Whoa. This is getting serious. A double dog dare? I triple dog dare you. Molly, don't listen to her. Nothing's worth a triple dog dare. Daisy, it's a triple dog dare. I'll be the biggest chicken on the planet if I don't do it. Okay, fine. I take your triple dog dare. Everything's gonna be fine, Daisy, anyway, because literally, I'm gonna just land in the water. Molly, I think this is such a bad idea. No, it's gonna be fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Molly? M Molly? Oh my god, she's under the water, Molly! All I can see is her little face! Molly? Molly? Molly! Oh my god, Molly! Okay, I'm gonna take her sunglasses off and see if her eyes are open. Whoa, I think she might have gotten hurt or something. Figure she would jump over here towards this giant concrete block. Duh, that was silly of her. Don't pick up my sister, she's obviously hurt! Molly, see something, anything! Look at her leg, it looks broken! I'm sure she's just fine. I mean, she looks sort of... Well, okay, yeah, no, she's not fine. You better call 911. This was all your fault, Sarah, for double dog daring her. Okay, Molly, I'm gonna call an ambulance. Everything's gonna be fine. Just hang on, Molly, hang on. 911, what's your emergency? Um, yes, I'm trying not to panic, but my sister's at the park and... <sighs> I'm sorry, you need to stop crying, ma'am, so I can hear what you're saying. Okay, um, my sister jumped off the swing at the park in downtown Brookhaven, and she fell, and I think she hurt her leg, and she's not saying anything. Okay, ma'am, we'll be there as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Bye. Sarah? Oh, it just figures she would run away. She wouldn't want to fess up to double dog. I mean, triple dog daring my sister. Oh, my gosh, Molly. Wait, I saw her leg move. Molly? Molly? Say something, Molly, please. What, what happened? Ow, my leg hurts. Ah, ha, ha, ah. Molly, it's going to be okay. The ambulance is going to be here to take you to the hospital. What happened to me? What happened? Molly, you jumped off the swing and, 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 and you got hurt. Hello? So I'm totally here to take your sister to the hospital. Whoa, you look so much like this girl Sarah that I know. She looks grumpy too. Well, my job is really hard. I just have to pick up people all day and they're super heavy. Um, okay. Molly, we're just gonna get you on the stretcher now, okay? Oh, my leg hurts so bad. <laughs> It's gonna be okay. As soon as you get to the hospital, they'll give you something for the pain. Okay, so like totally hold still. I don't need you to break your leg any worse than it already is. Don't worry, I can't even move. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Ugh. Okay, like everybody hold on because this might be a puppy ride. Molly, it's gonna be okay. I told you you shouldn't have taken that triple dog deal. Well, I didn't see where I had a choice. I mean, it was a triple dog dare. Molly, you always have a choice. Don't be ridiculous. Now look at the boat you've got yourself into. Daisy, can you not yell at me right now? I really don't feel good. Okay, Molly, sorry. Just don't do it again, okay? I think I've learned my lesson, okay? My leg is broken. <laughs> Uh, yeah, could I have a large latte, please, and a cheeseburger? I'm sorry, we're all out of lattes. Uh, I could still give you the cheeseburger, though. Fine, just give me a regular coffee and the cheeseburger. Seriously? My leg is broken and you've decided to stop at the drive-thru? Oh, I'm having the worst day ever. Molly, are you even listening? <laughs> Molly, wake up! Huh? What? Nurse! Nurse! There's a crazy lady in here yelling at me! That 
crazy lady is your sister. I have a sister? Where? Where is she? I'm your sister, Daisy. Oh, this is no use. Okay, I have one last memory to share with you. Then I'll have to let you go forever. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to let that go. <laughs> I thought we were talking about letting things go. Ew, it smells horrible. Okay, fine. I'll stay here and tell you that. Even though you fought it and it smells awful. Daisy? Is, is that you? Molly? Uh, are you okay? Daisy, I remember you. Oh, I'm so happy. Although for a minute there, I thought maybe I would get rid of my annoying sister. You really want to get rid of me? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my gosh. I remember everything. Sarah pushed me and I fell and hit my head. Oh, she is a horrible bully. Yeah, she got in school suspension for that one. Holy guacamole, she did? Yeah, and you better rest, Molly. I don't want you to strain yourself. Does that mean I don't have to do any homework? Yep, not until you feel better. Then I feel terrible for at least another week or so. Oh, Molly, same old sister I've always known. Molly, we're gonna be late. What are you waiting for? I don't want to go to school today. Well, what's new? But this is preschool. It's not like you're gonna get detention or homework. No, I know. I just, I don't want to go. If we're late, though, you might get a timeout. But I don't want to go, okay? Sometimes I just, I want to stay home, okay? Molly, that's ridiculous. You know we have to go here so that mom can work and we can learn lots of good things. Just, I don't feel very good today. Don't try to fake being sick. Everybody know it's not true. Now come on, before we're late, I want to see all of our friends. Fine, but I'm telling you, my stomach kind of hurts. Oh, why can't I get in? Hello? Let us in! Molly, come on, let's just go in through the baby entrance. I'm not a baby anymore. Oh, my stomach really hurts. Yeah, yeah, Molly, you're faking it. Everybody knows it. I I'm not faking it. I, I, I really don't feel good. Well, why don't you go to the bathroom and try to go poo-poo? That might make you feel better. I don't have to go poo-poo. Ugh, -poo. my sister is so annoying. Just leave me alone, okay? You don't have to believe me. No one asked you to anyway. Oh, no. My stomach is really starting to hurt. Oh, man. I think I do actually have to go potty. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hope I make it in time. Oh, that's so embarrassing to have an accident. Wait a minute, I'm going the wrong way. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna make it to the potty! <laughs> Too late. Uh oh. Oh no! I went poo poo in my pants! Oh! That's so embarrassing! Well, good morning, Molly. Ew, what's that smell? Uh oh, did you have an accident? I didn't mean to, I promise, I didn't! <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean to. It's okay, Molly. It's okay. We'll just, we'll just change your pull up and everything will be fine. I promise. Oh, how embarrassing. It's all right. Trust me. Everybody has accidents when they're toddlers. I don't really feel good today. My stomach is really hurting. Oh, that's probably just because you're hungry. It is snack time. Come on, we'll get something to eat. No, oh, I'm telling you, I don't want anything to eat. It sounds really gross. No, you're probably just hungry. Did you know that if you get too hungry, your tummy can actually hurt? Now play with your toy and be good. Now, come on, let's eat up. I'm telling you, I don't feel so good. I don't want to eat that baby food. Ah, oh, la, la, da, 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 da. Molly says she doesn't feel good, but she's a liar. I'm not lying. Oh. Ew! Oh, yuck! You threw up on me! Oh, yuck! They don't pay me enough for this job to have babies throw up on me! Oh, I'm sorry, Taylor. I didn't mean it. Sorry, I didn't mean to freak out. It's just, ew, throw up makes me really grossed out. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? I'm not sure. I don't feel so... <laughs> Ew, now she threw up on me! Ew, she really is sick! Oh my, it looks like we're gonna need to give you a bath, Molly. You're covered in throw up. 
I don't feel so good. <laughs> I just want my mommy. <laughs> it's okay. We're going to take you take very good care of you here, Molly, until your mom can come pick you up. Well, good luck. Our mom's at a business meeting today. She probably won't be able to pick us up for hours. Don't say that, Daisy. I want my mom. <laughs> oh, no. Are you going to throw up again? Don't throw up in the tub. Or on me. Oh, yuck. Oh, no. I feel a little better, though, after I threw up so many times. I think you better take a nap, Molly. You're definitely sick with something. Maybe food poisoning or the stomach bug? Can I have something to drink? I feel so thirsty after throwing up so much. Of course you can, sweetie, but I think we should just give you some water and not milk. Because milk can make your stomach upset when it already is hurting. I just want my mommy! <laughs> Molly, I promise I'm going to take good care of you. Okay. I guess I believe you. <laughs> it just don't feel good. I know, honey. It's going to be okay. La da da, la da da, la da da da, da da da. It's going to be okay, Molly. I think when you take a nap, you'll feel better when you wake up. I sure hope so. I don't want to throw up anymore. Mm, it seems like you may have gotten it out of your system, sweetie. Now take a nice night night and everything will be okay, I promise. Okay, just just don't swing me around too much because I think I might throw up again. Daisy, what's wrong? I don't feel so good, my stomach hurts. Oh, don't fake it, Daisy. Marley, I'm not faking it. When have I ever ugh, faked anything? You're still faking it. I don't believe that was a real throw up. Marley, I just ugh, threw up twice. What are you talking about? I can't fake that. You probably gave me a stomach bug. What? No, I didn't. I wouldn't do that. Oh my gosh, what's... Ew, gross, another baby threw up. Oh no, it's the dreaded stomach bug. Dun, dun, dun. We'll all have it. I just know it. Every single parent, caregiver, and child at Twilight Daycare will get this. I feel so good. Ugh. Don't worry, Daisy. It only lasts a couple of hours, then it goes away. I'm feeling lots better. I can't believe you gave me a stomach bug. Oh, this is the worst. This is seriously the worst. Uh, hopefully nobody else is throwing up. Is everybody okay? No one's answering. Okay, um, I want to slime somebody right now and tell them that they that I have the stomach bug. Um, uh, let's see, who should I do? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You're about, oh, I can slime everybody. How much does that cost? 50 Robux, worth it. <laughs> okay, when's everybody gonna get slimed? When you all get, wait, how did you pick me up? I don't want you to pick me up. Stop picking me up. Okay, I paid for everybody to get slimed. And, um, nobody got slimed. Molly, what exactly are you doing right now? I'm, um, oh, whoa. Who wanted Robux? No, no, no. I'm uh, nothing. I'm, I'm not doing anything. Uh, yeah, no, not, not at all. Molly, are you back to your old antics of being a prankster? Me? No, not at all. Molly, you just dumped slime on my head. Molly, oh my gosh, you need to go to timeout. You can't give me timeout today. What? Why not? Because I was so sick with the stomach bug. Well, now you seem just fine. So now it's time for timeout. What? Don't you dare take me to baby jail. Don't you dare. Um, baby jail is exactly where you belong. Let me out. This is rude. This can't be happening. Let me out of jail. I don't like this. I want to go home. I want my mommy. I'm warning you, Taylor. You're not going to like what happens next. I want to get out of here. Let me out of timeout. This isn't fair. And how did that work out for you, Molly? You're still not going to let me out? This is rude. Ah, I want to get out of here. Let me out. Ah! Molly, 
you can have more temper tantrums if you like, but then you're going to be in timeout even longer. You're so rude! Why is this happening to me, Ma? I'm not a bad kid, it's just because I pranked you and it was kind of funny. Molly, you're going to stay there until you can calm down. I'm never going to calm down! Do I look calm to you? Ah, this is making me so mad! <sighs> <sighs> okay. I think I'm done having a temper tantrum now. <sighs> okay, Molly. If you think you're done being a prankster and having your temper tantrums, you can come out and rejoin society. Okay, fine. I'll be good. I promise. Sort of. <laughs> Watch this, guys. This is going to be awesome. Purchased. <laughs> Where'd she go? I want to see this. Who just slimed me? Molly, was that you? Mo Molly, come back here. Not a chance, lady. I'm out of here. <laughs> Caught you. Back to timeout for you. No, I want to escape, please. Oh, okay, wait. I, I can't escape. It costs me 50 Robux and I'm poor. Let me, let me out of here. No. Okay, I can break the toilet. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. I just found out how you escape. Oh my gosh. Guys, I just found an underground maze. What? Underneath Twilight Daycare. Are you kidding me right now? Where's this go? This is insane. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. I just escaped Twilight Daycare on Baby Jail. And guys, I'm just going to spend the rest of the day at the beach chilling without any rolls. This is amazing. I'm having the best day ever. I mean, after I got done having a stomach bug and stuff. Whoa! Look at that rubber ducky! Good thing I just learned how to swim. Rubber ducky, you're so cute! Ooh, and a unicorn? Yes, please! This sounds like my kind of day. <laughs> hey Molly, <laughs> you didn't get detention today. That's amazing. Huh? What? Oh, hi. Hi, hi, hi Luke. Hey, um, so, uh, you didn't get detention. Yeah, I don't always get detention, just like most of the time, but not today. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, so are you going to go to the dance tomorrow night? Um, uh, uh, bye! Okay, bye, Molly! Oh, my gosh, I just got so nervous when you started talking about the dance. I ran away! Oh, why do I always do stupid things when Luke is around? Oh, yoy, yoy. All right, I'm just gonna go around the corner and make sure he's not here anymore. Okay, I think he left. Good. Oh, yeah, there he goes. He's going out the door. Oh, phew. I can't believe I'm so dumb around him. Molly, are you okay? Not really, Brookie. Ugh, I always do dumb stuff when Luke is around. Oh, really? Um, why? Luke's really nice. Uh, it's not really funny, Brookie. It's, it's kind of sad, actually. Sorry, it just seemed like you were joking. I mean, Molly, you're not dumb. You're one of the smartest people I know. Even if you don't do your homework because you're lazy. Me? Lazy? Never. Well, Molly, what makes you so nervous around Luke? You know what? I don't really want to talk about this at school. Want to come over to my house? Sure, Molly, let's go. All right, let's make sure Luke isn't outside. Uh, Molly, I think he's gone. And it's not like he has cooties or anything. What's, what's going on with you? I'll tell you when we get to my house. Okay, Molly, so what's the deal? I'll tell you after we have a snack. Molly, are you just stalling? Come on, you need to tell me what's going on. First, I need a snack. I'm starving. All right, Molly, fine. Ooh, leftover pizza. Mmm. Want some? Mmm. This is delicious. Nah, I'll just have an apple, thanks. So, what's the deal with Luke? Uh, okay. So, here's the deal. Luke and I have been friends for a really long time. But I just started to feel like, well, maybe I like him, like, more than a friend. Wait, what? What? Like, you have a crush on Luke? Seriously, Molly? A crush on him? Um, well, um, 
I guess that's what you'd call it. I don't know. Whenever he's around now, I get butterflies in my tummy. I say dumb things. I sort of ran away when he started talking about the dance. What? Do you think he was going to ask you to the dance? I don't know, but maybe. I can't go with him, though. I'd be too nervous. Are you crazy, Molly? He's your crush. You have to go to the dance with him. It'd be so magical. You guys can dance. You could wear a pretty dress. I don't know about all that. I don't, I don't know. Molly, trust me on this. So, um, how are you going to tell him you like him? Um, I'm not. I'm not going to tell him. Molly, you can't run away from me. I'm your friend and you invited me over. Okay, I'm just sitting on the couch. Just, I can't talk about this anymore. Listen, Molly, I have the perfect plan. Uh-huh, sure. I can't talk about this anymore. It's too stressful. Molly, I think you should write Luke a love letter. Say what? A love letter? <laughs> I didn't say I loved him. Obviously you do, Molly. You um, check all the boxes for being in love. Really? What are they? One, you get butterflies in your tummy whenever they're around. Okay, yeah, I do have that. Two, you say super dumb things because you're so nervous around them. You don't want to say the wrong thing. Um, okay, yeah, I, I do that. And three, you can't stop thinking about him, can you? Well, um, uh, uh, okay, yeah, no, I can't. See, Molly? You love Luke. Hey, that's enough of that. Don't tease me about it, okay? You can't help it if you love somebody. It just happens. So what do you think, Molly? Want to write him a love letter? <sighs> okay, let me go get some pen and paper from the kitchen. Okay, what should I say? How about Dear Luke? Well, duh, of course I'm going to say Dear Luke. All right, Dear Luke. Now just tell him how you feel, Molly. I really, really, really like you. I think you're cute and smart and an awesome football player. And, um, uh, what should I say now? Say you want to go to the dance with him. Okay. And I want, I'm too afraid I can't tell him. Yes, you can, Molly. Tell him. And I want to go to the dance with you. Now, all you have to do is sign your name. Yeah, I'm not doing that. But Molly, he needs to know it's from you. No, I can't tell him it's from me. How about from like a secret admirer? All right, Molly, tell him you'd love your secret admirer. Love your secret admirer. Okay, well, now what? Uh, you can deliver this to him, right? Um, yeah, I guess I could. Tomorrow at school. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. What if he figures out it's me? Well, then hopefully he'll ask you to the dance. Where's my math homework? I actually did it, and, and it's not in my locker. Man, don't tell me I forgot it at home again. Hey, Molly, good morning. Oh, oh, hi, Luke. <laughs> I didn't see you there. I really like your cat unicorn shirt. It's adorable. Oh, um, thank you. Okay, I I've got to get to class. Bye. Bye, Molly. Why should you keep running away from me? I thought we were best friends. Oh, look, there's Luke. Hey, Luke. Oh, hey, Brookie. What's up? Uh, yeah, um, your secret admirer wanted me to give you this letter. What? A, a secret admirer? Seriously? Who's it from? You must know. I'm sorry, Luke. I can't tell you, um, because they were wearing a mask and I couldn't see who it was. <laughs> yeah, that lie should work. Oh, okay, well, uh, I'll open it. What does my secret admirer want? Maybe they think I'm super good at math and they want, like, me to help them study or something. Dear Luke, I like you. I really, really, really like you. And I want to go to the dance with you. Love your secret admirer. Oh, I know this handwriting. Whose handwriting is this? <gasps> it's, it's Daisy's. Oh my gosh. I never thought Daisy had a crush on me, but I mean, her pigtails are pretty cute and she wants to go to the dance with me. I mean... I am best friends with Molly, so I feel like I know her better, but Daisy's cute, and, uh, yeah. I'll go to the dance with her. I'll ask her as soon as I get into math class. Brookie, Brookie, did you give Luke the letter? Uh, yeah, I totally did. Did he want to know who it was from? Of course he did, but I told him the person who gave it to me was wearing a costume, so I couldn't see. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Yeah, but, um... <laughs> If he figures it out, he's probably going to ask you to the dance. 
Well, I hope so. I mean, I kind of hope so. I don't know. Will I get really bad butterflies in my stomach? What are you guys talking about? Nothing. None of your beeswax. I'm going to study for this math test because I'm going to ace it. I just know it. Hey, Daisy. Good morning. Oh, hey, Luke. Sorry I'm a bit busy right now. It's okay. I just want to say that what you said was really nice. And I was wondering, um, uh, would you uh, like to go to the dance with me? Wait, what? Oh, um, uh, well, you're best friends with my sister, but, um, yeah, you guys are just friends, so. Brookie, Brookie, why is he asking Daisy to the dance? I have no idea. Oh, my gosh, why is this happening? I'll go to the dance with you, sure. What? No, you can't go to the dance together. What? Why, Molly? What's going on? Um, you're going to have diarrhea that night. What? Mo Molly? Why are you saying that? That's embarrassing. Uh, because we're having bean burritos. Mom put it on the family menu. And bean burritos always give you that... <laughs> Molly! Are you, why are you saying this? Oh, my gosh, Luke. I'm so embarrassed. My sister's being so rude. Oh, uh, well, you know, all of us have gotten diarrhea before. It's not really fun. I'm not going to have diarrhea. I never get that. Not even from being burritos. She doesn't even know what she's talking about. Molly, why are you being crazy right now? Um, uh, uh, uh. So, Daisy, um, you know, about the letter. What? What letter? Oh, 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 yeah, the letter. What? She knows about the letter? Yeah, I wrote a letter to everyone in the class saying they really needed to try harder because um, we're not going to get our grades up as a school if... Oh, huh? what? 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 No! That... Oh, my gosh! Brookie, this is going terrible! Well, you're going to have to tell him that you're his secret admirer. No way! I'm glad you're my secret admirer, Daisy. What? I... I'm not your secret admirer. Wait, but you wrote me a letter saying that... You really, really, really liked me and you wanted me to go to the dance with you? No, I didn't. But it looked like your handwriting. Oh my gosh, this is humiliating. Oh, I'm gonna go hide in the girls' bathroom. No, don't you wanna see what happens next? Not really. Um, okay, well, I, I know you're shy about being my secret admirer, but there's no reason to be Daisy. Like, come on, we, we totally can go to the dance together. I think you're really cute. What? You think my sister's cute? That makes me kind of angry and jealous. What? Why? Why would you be jealous, Molly? Because she's the one that sent you the letter. Brookie! How could you? Oh my gosh! Wait, what? You're my secret admirer? What? No, Brookie's just making that up. I'm not your secret admirer. I think she is. Me and Molly have pretty similar handwriting. Um, Molly, um, I don't know what to say. Maybe you should say that you'll take her to the dance. But I already asked you, Daisy, and you said yes. So we're going to the dance. What? Ah! This is the worst day of my life! All right, I gotta go cry in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> ah! If you were ever gonna get out of bed, <laughs> I know I tried to sleep through my alarm, but it just kept going. Eh, 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 eh. I know alarms are pretty annoying. If you don't get out of bed, that is. <laughs> hey, Dad, where's Mom? Oh, she's already at work. <laughs> oh, are you making us some delicious breakfast? No, I'm making me some delicious breakfast. What? But Mom always makes us breakfast. You girls are old enough now; you could make your own breakfast. Can I have a candy bar from Halloween for breakfast? <laughs> yeah, wait, right, Molly. Like Dad would ever let you have that. No, correction. Dad would let me have that. Mom would never let me have that. Well, if your mom would say no, then I guess I'm going to have to say no. Oh, gee, thanks, Daisy. Well, Molly, you shouldn't be having such a gross breakfast. Okay, let's see what I can have for breakfast then. Um, Cereal sounds pretty good. Easy and delicious. We have Roros. <laughs> They're so, so good. I couldn't agree more, Miley. I love Roros. So, Dad, what are you doing today? 
Oh, lots of stuff. Got lots of stuff to do. Lots of work stuff, Dad? Like, at your office? Uh, no, just, just lots of stuff. <laughs> so much stuff to do. Oh, okay. Um, well, um, can we help you with any of it? Absolutely not. You girls just need to get right off to school. Okay, Dad. Well, we know you're going to have a great day at the office. Uh -huh, yeah, bye. Have a good day. Wow. Dad sure was in a hurry. Yeah, Molly, I wonder what he was up to. Probably just getting an early start at the office. Whoop! we better head off to school. Good idea, Daisy, good idea. Molly, didn't you forget something? Um, I'm wearing my clothes, so that's good. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to forget those when you go to school. I mean your homework. How can you forget your homework if you didn't do it? Oh, brother, you're going to get detention, Molly. Again. <laughs> Just kidding, I did all of it. Uh, sure, Molly, sure you did. Huh, it's such a nice day outside. I mean, why do we have to be stuck in school on such a nice day? Don't worry, Molly, everybody's stuck inside working today. Well, Molly, it's another exciting day at school. Ah, uh, speak for yourself. I wish I was a grown-up so I didn't have to go to school anymore. Well, grown-ups still have to do work. They have to go to a job. I don't know. Didn't Dad seem kind of strange this morning? Like he said, I have lots to do. But he didn't say I was actually going to work. Of course he's going to work. Don't be ridiculous. Now come on, Molly, before we leave for class. Ugh. So much schoolwork and tests and pop quizzes and homework. Ugh. I really do wish that I was a grown-up. Molly, Dad's got just as much work at the office today as you're going to have at school. Well... Why don't we go find out? <laughs> what are you talking about, Molly? Today's not take your kid to work day. No, but I could make it, um, sneak out of school and see what your dad does all day. Then I could prove to you once and for all that, you know, dad has a pretty great day. I'm sure he does, Molly, but he still has to work. You know, work is all how you look at it. Hey, everybody, are you guys going to go to the prom? Um, I'm not sure, but anyway, I'm talking to my sister right now. Excuse me for a second. Okay, well, let me know, okay? Sign-ups are tomorrow. I'm going to prom, most definitely. Okay, Daisy, back to the subject at hand, okay? Um, we need to follow Dad and see exactly what he's up to. I have a feeling he doesn't do nearly as much work as us kids. Okay, Molly, but only this once. Ha, ha, ha! Let's go. <laughs> Daisy, can you go any faster? No, Molly, that would be fairly unsafe. Of course, I'm not going to do that. But I really want to prove to you that Dad's not actually working today. Yeah, right, Molly. I know Dad. He's a workaholic. He'll be at work today for sure. Besides, he said he was really busy. Yeah, but busy doing what? That's the question. Ooh, should we stop for some pizza? No, Molly, it's not even lunch yet. Hey, wait a minute. Who's that? Is that... I, is that Dad? No, couldn't be. He's got to be at the office. Get a little closer, Daisy, but don't let him know that it's us. O-M-G! What's he doing? Oh, my gosh! Dad is sitting there at Ben's ice cream e eating a chocolate ice cream. O-M-G, Ma Molly, I don't think that's even Dad. Daisy, of course it's Dad. Who else would it be? An alien that's taking the place of our Dad. I know Dad would be at the office. Think again! <laughs> Looks like he's having a delicious ice cream and he's about to go on the Ferris wheel. I can't believe it! Dad ditched work and he told us he was super busy. Yeah, super busy having a great time while we're at school being bored out of our minds. Oh my gosh! He went to the ice cream shop and he went on the on the on these rides without us? Rude! Okay, DZ, we better go hide behind that building before he sees us. Yeah, good point. Uh, Daisy, I meant with the car. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna know it's our car, Jeepers Creepers. Okay, let's drive over there, just like out of the way a little bit so he doesn't see us. Daisy, what, what, what are you doing? Daisy, you're gonna drive into the water! Okay, I just didn't know what to do. Is this better? Yeah, that's good. Okay, good. What's he doing, Molly? Looks like he's having a great time on the Ferris wheel. That's what. Looks like he's done on his Ferris wheel ride, Molly. Yeah, but the question is, where's he going to go next? He's probably just taking an early lunch. He'll be going right back to the office for sure. 
Are you sure Dad still has a job? Maybe he got fired. <laughs> Molly, that's hilarious. Of course Dad didn't get fired. <laughs> Wait a minute, where's he going now? He's getting on his motorcycle. Wait, Dad has a motorcycle? Yeah, it's really old though. Like, he never rides it. Wow, things are seeming so weird. Come on, let's follow him. Do you see him, Molly? Yeah, he's right there. He's parked up behind this building. What, what do you think he's doing? I don't know, Molly. Maybe he's got a flat tire. No, he's at he's at the car store. What's he doing over there? I don't know. Maybe he's going to buy a new vehicle or something. <gasps> With all that money? Oh, my gosh. What, did he rob a bank or something? <laughs> Molly, I don't think so. Oh, my gosh. That person looks just like me. Whoa, Molly. You also sell motorcycles. Only guacamole. I didn't know that there was someone that worked here that looked just like me. That's kind of creepy. Okay, I'm going to sneak up on Dad. See what he's doing. Hi there. How can I help you today? Oh, hey. Um, Yeah, I'm looking to trade in my bike because this one's like really old. I'm going to buy like a brand new one. Jiminy Cricket! What's Dad thinking? That's going to be like $60,000. Um, well, um, yeah, you know how expensive this is, right? Absolutely. <laughs> this is gonna be so awesome. Okay, okay! Dad, what what are you doing? Molly, what are you doing? You're supposed to be at school right now. Why aren't you at school? Oh, yeah, blame it on me. Why aren't you at work? Work? <laughs> what about work? Uh, you know, your job, the thing you go to, the thing that pays for all of our food and our toys and, 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 and our vacations and... Did I mention our food? Because, you know, I like to eat and I'm really hungry right now. I need lunch. Should we go to lunch? Molly, stick to the point. Well, if you're not at your job, you're going to get fired. Um, no, I won't. Why? Because I took the day off. What? You can do that? Yeah, of course you can when you're a grown-up. But not that often or you'll get fired. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So what you're telling me is grown-ups get to take a day off. But, you know, the kids the kids have to go to school every single day. We never get a day off. You guys get plenty of days off. Holidays. You get those off, too. Oh, yeah. Good point. No, I guess you really don't get personal days. Well, I took a personal day. <laughs> Molly, what happened? Um, well, I found out that Dad took a personal day. A personal day? What's that? It's basically where grown-ups get to say, ah, I'm not doing any work today, and get to go do whatever they want. And they get still get paid for it. What? We don't get personal days from school. Yeah, my point exactly. Ugh, being a kid is so unfair. Oh, what a horrible day. What a seriously horrible Miserable, awful day. So awful. Seriously, so awful. Molly, is that you? Are you home? Yes, I'm home. What are you doing, Daisy? Reading a book. What are you? Whoa! Molly, what's, what's, what's wrong with your face? I had to get... Dun, 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 braces! Whoa, Molly, that was a bit dramatic. What do you mean that was a bit dramatic? Look at my face! My face is a bit dramatic! I do, it really is, Molly. You have a shocked look on your face. That's because I had to get braces at the dentist! Oh, I'm sorry, Molly. I think they're pretty cute. No, they're awful! I don't want them! I don't want braces! Well, Molly, I would like to get braces. Not me! I'm gonna go hide in the corner and I'm never coming out! Molly, don't be so dramatic. Come on. Lots of kids get braces. Everybody at school is going to be like, metal mouth, metal mouth. No, your friends won't. Well, not my friends, but, you know, Sarah the bully goes to school there, and, and she's going to tease me, and it's terrible. I can't believe I need to get braces. Oh, Molly, what could I do to make you feel better? Take these braces off. <laughs> Very funny, Molly. I'm not a dentist. I can't do that. Fine, well, I'm hiding under my covers and I'm never coming out. Molly, don't hide under your covers. Molly, you can't go to bed. It's not time yet. It's the afternoon. I'm never getting out of this bed, ever. Well, that'll be a boring life, Molly. You'll be like Rip Van Winkle. Who's that? 
It's this guy who slept for like a hundred years. Didn't you read that story? No, I never read it. I think your place is so adorable, Molly. Well, I don't like him at all. Well, you probably don't have to wear him that long. Hey, Molly, let's play with our toys. Come on. I just, I don't know if I want to do anything. I don't, I don't want to play with toys. I don't want to do anything. Come on, Molly, just to why? The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. No, the brightly colored unicorn's not making me happier at all. Well, let's play some Roblox then. Come on, Molly. Or we can watch the brightly colored unicorn on YouTube. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, look, Molly, it's a new episode. Yeah, yeah, who cares? Whoa, Molly, you are really sad. Yeah, I didn't want braces. I wasn't expecting that. Nobody warned me when I went to the dentist today I was going to get braces. But they're super cute, Molly. Maybe next time when you go, you could get pink ones. I don't want pink ones. I don't want any of them. I don't want any. Molly, why are you hiding next to the toilet? I want to flush myself down the toilet. Molly, don't say that. I could live in the sewer where no one could ever see my braces. Molly, now you're just being ridiculous. Come on, let's go get in the pool. Fine, maybe that'll cheer me up. I can't believe how dramatic my sister is. Hey, you'll be saying the same thing if you got braces. Actually, I want to get braces. I think they're adorable. Come on, Molly, jump in. Boing, 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 boing. Whee! Ah, that felt pretty good. See, Molly, everything's better, right? I guess I feel a little better. <laughs> Molly, what was that? I don't know. I heard it, too. It sounded like somebody crying. He sure did, Molly. We're probably just imagining it. Oh, you were crying over your braces still. No, I, it wasn't me. Are you sure, Molly? Yeah, I'm sure. I wasn't actually crying. <laughs> Molly, you're crying again. It wasn't me, Daisy. Well, let's go investigate. Okay. Why are you jumping over the shrubs? Because, Molly, I have to see if it's over here. Wait, Daisy, let's stop and listen. I can't get over the edge, Molly. Jump higher, Daisy. Jump higher. There you go. Okay, let's listen. <laughs> there it is again. It's coming from my a new garden statue <laughs> and it's crying wow that's so realistic wait a minute and it's moving daisy i think there's a real mermaid in our fountain out front well that's weird why would a mermaid be hanging in a water fountain i don't know but she doesn't seem too happy about it um hello are you real yeah I'm, I'm, I'm real. I'm a real mermaid. Okay, um, we thought you were a garden statue because, um, we're not really sure why you're hanging out in our water fountain right now. Because I, I somehow got transported here and, well, my whole family is in the ocean and, and, and I'm lost and my tail is about to dry out and so this is the only water that I can find. Whoa, I thought I had a bad day getting braces. <laughs> Sounds like you're having a really bad day. Yeah, Molly, you can say that again. Yeah, I am having a really bad day. I just, I, I, I don't know what to do. Whoa, you sound like the story of Ariel. Oh, Ariel, yeah, she's my third cousin. Really? Whoa, cool. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get so excited. I know you're having a bad day. Yeah, and, and this water's not deep enough, and my tail is starting to really dry out. What happens if your tail dries out? Then I get human legs forever. Oh, well, Ariel wanted to have human legs. Well, that's Ariel. That's not me, okay? I want to be a mermaid. I like being a mermaid, and I like my family. Ariel just fell in love with the prince and decided to get legs, but but I'm a mermaid, and it's what I'm supposed to be. I love being a mermaid. Then we can't let your tail dry out. I have an idea. I don't know anything about this world. It looks so weird to me. Like, your houses aren't made out of seashells or anything. 
<laughs> How's this made out of seashells? <laughs> I suppose you brush your teeth with a crab. Um, yeah, no, that's actually what we floss with. You floss with like a crab from under the ocean. Uh, yeah, they're great at picking your teeth. Ew, gross! What? That's how mermaids floss their teeth. Okay, well, I don't have the ocean to help you right now, but I do know where there's a lot of water. You do? Yeah, follow me. Come into my house and I'll show you. Do you have water in your house? Well, yeah, in the faucet, but that's not what I mean. Come on, follow me, I'll show you. Oh no, my le my my tail is already starting to turn into legs. Look at it. I know, come on, hurry, come this way. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, wrong way, this way. I I'm out here. Oh, out here? Whoa, what's that? That's called a swimming pool. Whoa, is it is it okay to get in? Absolutely, it's full of water, come on. See, I'm in it. And your legs will probably turn back to mermaid tail. Oh, water, I'm so happy right now. Well, except for the fact that I don't know where my family is. Don't worry, Um, we'll help you find your family. I'm sure my mom will drive you to the ocean. Really? How far is the ocean from here? Um, it's about a five hour drive, so yeah. Uh, but what we didn't think about, Molly, is how are we going to keep our tail wet while we drive for five hours to the ocean? Oh, uh, that's a good question. <gasps> Maybe we could rent a Hugh Hall truck, put a big tub of water in the back, and then put the mermaid in it. That might work, Molly. That might work. You guys are the nicest ever. I never realized humans were so nice. We typically avoid you guys because we're not really supposed to let you know we're real. Yeah, but we're we're pretty cool, right? Yeah, you guys are so cool. I was so sad, but but now I'm not. But hey, what what are those things that you have in your mouth that are that are like like Oh, those are my braces. Br braces? What are those? Those are what everybody teases me about at school. Molly, no one's going to tease you, don't worry. What do they do? They make your teeth straight. Oh, that's so cool. They look kind of cool. Wait a minute. A mermaid, a real life mermaid, thinks my braces are cool. Okay, braces are cool. Well, you didn't believe me, Molly, but you believe a mermaid? Jeez. Yeah, well, mermaids are cool. Thank you. I just can't wait to see my family again. I mean... I hope they know that I'm okay. Well, we're going to take awesome care of you. And you can live in our pool until, you know, we can take you back to the ocean. My mom gets home at 5 o'clock. I'll ask her then. We probably can't go till the weekend, though. But tonight's pizza night, so there's that. P pizza? What, what's that? It's this delicious, like, bread that you put cheese on and it melts. Trust me, you're going to love it. Oh, um, sometimes we eat sea kelp with um sea cheese on it. Ew! That sounds like the grossest pizza ever! Yeah, I have to agree, Molly. That sounds pretty gross. Trust me, human pizza is so much better! And I'll let you try some Doritos and soda. Hmm, sounds interesting. It definitely is! Hey, Tohiro fans, can you believe that a mermaid ended up transporting to our house in Blacksburg? It's crazy! We have to help her get her home. What do you guys think? Is do you think we're going to be able to get her back to the ocean? Let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to all four of our channels. The Toy Heroes, The Toy Heroes Games, Gaming with Daisy, and Gaming with Molly. We'll see you guys next time. And let us know in the comment section below if you'd like to see part two of this video. See you guys next time. Bye! having so much fun at the park today. Whoa, <laughs> I just ran into the side. Oh, I'm stuck. Whoa, Molly, be careful. Whoa, Daisy, you're going so high right now. I know, Molly, can't even believe it. Um, if you jump off, uh, you will seriously land in the water over there. Don't I, whoa, Molly, don't make a fix. Try it, Daisy, do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay, here I go. Whoa, see, I told you, Molly. My swing's broken. It keeps just, like, going over here into the side. Let's go on the trampoline, then. Okay, let's do it. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is so much fun. I'm bouncing on this giant bouncy ball, Molly. 
Yeah, that looks fun, but not as fun as this giant macaroni noodle slide. What? It's not macaroni noodles, Molly. Well, that's exactly what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna go down this awesome huge slide. Okay, here I go. You can see the whole town up here. Whoa. Whee! Oh, 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 oh. Man, they should really put a soft landing at the end of that if it's gonna be that fast. <laughs> Molly, look at me! Whee! That's so much fun. Yeah, okay, what's your favorite part of the park, though, Daisy? Ooh, that's a hard decision. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, I can't decide if it's the slide, the swings, or the trampoline. Hey, Toy Hero fans, let us know in the comments section below which is your favorite and when you go to the park. A trampoline, the slide, or the swings? I, I think I'm going to pick swings. Well, then I'm going to pick trampoline because we can't pick the same thing. Why not? Then we could be twinsies. No, Daisy, no twinsies. Yes, Molly, twinsies. No, no twinsies. We're sisters, and that's bad enough. Molly, how rude. Oh, Daisy, what should we do today? Hey, who's, who's that? Whoa, Molly. She looks super rich. Yeah, let's, let's follow her and see where she goes. I think she's going to a store, Molly, because she has so much money. Does she have the new giant gummy bear that I wanted? Oh, my gosh. How does she have that? That, that costs like $1,000. She must be really rich, Molly. Like, really rich. But but I want to be really rich. Why can't I have the $1,000 giant gummy bear? Because, Molly, you're not really rich. Okay, but it's not fair. How come she gets to have it and I don't? Well, Molly, you really don't know what her story is or where she even comes from. You just, you just think that maybe she got rich, like... With the snap of the fingers? I don't know, but, I mean, she got the giant gummy bear and I didn't. Molly, you never know what somebody's story is. Well, what is her story? Do you know? Well, I heard this rumor, Dad. Ugh, I'm so hungry and, and I have nowhere to sleep and nothing to eat. Excuse me? Excuse me, can you help me? I, I need something to eat. Excuse me, please get out of the road. I'm late. But, but I, but excuse me, I really need something to eat. Ugh, always there's people in the road right here. Ugh. Oh, what am I gonna do? Oh, wait, I think she threw me a dollar. Oh, thank goodness. Ugh, now maybe I can go over and get some pizza or something. I'm so hungry. I guess I better get in the, in the, um, river first and take a bath so I'm not stinky. Hey, don't judge. I don't have a house, so I don't have a bathroom or anything. Okay, now where did I see that pizza shop? No, not the pet shop. I could never afford to have a pet. Where is the pizza shop? I knew it was around here somewhere. No, no. Baby shop, no. Wait, there's the pizza shop. It's across the, it's across the bridge. Oh, I'm feeling so tired and so hungry. I hope that I can get some pizza for the dollar that she gave me. At least she did that, even if she told me to get out of the road. Almost there, almost there. Ah, oh, finally, I can eat something. Ew, is that a homeless person? Ew, she looks gross. Welcome to my, whoa, uh, you can't really be in here because, um, well, you're kind of stinky and you're scaring away my customers. But I'm hungry, and, and I have a dollar. Sorry, nothing in here costs a dollar. Hi, um, I'd like a pizza, please. Oh, sure, right over there. Okay, how much do they cost? A dollar fifty. Oh, I'm missing fifty cents. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Uh, you okay? I see that you're crying. Um, not really. I'm... You see, I'm I'm really hungry and Oh my goodness, are you homeless? Yeah, please don't tell everybody though, Cheesh. Oh sorry, I didn't mean to shout. I just couldn't believe that somebody's homeless in our town. Why not? Well, because usually everybody helps everyone else out. Really, that wasn't my experience. One girl just drove by me and told me to get out of the road and threw a dollar at me. 
Oh, that's so sad. I'm so sorry. Here, would you like to have a cookie? Cookies make everything better. Really? You'd give me a cookie? Of course I would. Do you want it? Um, yeah, I would love to have the cookie. Can you give it to me, please? Sure, here you go. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh. Okay, but I have nothing to trade you. It's okay, I'm just giving you this, okay? Okay, here you go. Um, I want to give you something back just to be nice. No, you don't have to, okay? Oh, well, thank you for the cookie. It, it was really nice of you. Well, at least that nice girl gave me a cookie. And it was pretty good, too. Mm. At least my stomach's not starving anymore. Maybe I can just go over here and take a little rest. Hey, no hanging out in my restaurant unless you're going to buy some food. But sir, I'm so tired. I just need to sit down for just a minute. It's okay. She's with me. I'm making us a pizza. We're having a lunch date. Uh, you're having a lunch date? Do you even know her? Yes, yeah, she's my friend, aren't you? What's your name? Brookie. Her name's Brookie. Okay, I guess you guys can stay. Thank you so much. What's what's your name? My name's Daisy. You have some of this pizza. Mm. Thanks, Daisy. I'm starving. Now, what can we do about those clothes? Oh, these clothes? No, these will be fine. Anyway... Thanks for the pizza. Um, I've got to go. Wait, I can help you, Brookie. Huh. <sighs> that was so nice of her to give me pizza and stuff, but I I feel bad taking other people's stuff. Like I I don't I don't want to be homeless. It's it's a horrible life. <sighs> Wait a minute. Maybe maybe if I came up with a good idea, I could have my own business. Then I wouldn't be so poor and hungry anymore. Wait, I could. I could start a lemonade stand. I'm a pretty good cook. If I could manage to ever get out of this river. <laughs> this is the first time in forever that I've actually felt happy. Let's see. I wonder if I could if I could just make some out of out of things I find around here. Let's see. Um food. No. There's gotta be it here somewhere. I'm sure that I could have a lemonade stand. Oh my gosh, this looks so amazing. <sighs> I'm so happy right now. I own my own business. Now it's time to turn that frown upside down. Welcome to my lemonade stand. Hello? Does anybody want to buy any lemonade? Brookie! <gasps> you have a lemonade stand? That's amazing. Um, I would like to buy five lemonades. I'm very thirsty. Thank you so, so much. You're my first customer. You're welcome, and I'm going to tell all of my friends about it, too. And that's all what I heard, and that was my experience. Whoa! I never knew that that happened to her. Are you guys talking about me? Uh, well, uh... It's okay if you are. I kind of heard you saying my name. Sorry, it was just my sister was feeling jealous. I wasn't feeling jealous. Molly, yes you were. Because you seemed like you were so rich and you had the thousand dollar giant gummy bill that Molly was dreaming about. Oh, well, I'd be happy to share it with you guys. With us? Really? With us? Yeah, I wasn't always rich, you know. I worked really hard to get here. And my life wasn't so good before. But now it's all about helping people and making friends and, well, just living the good life. Whoa! Um, maybe you could give me some pointers on how to start my own business. I would love to. But in the meantime, let's go to the pool party and eat this gummy bear. Sounds good to me. Yeah, me too. And I can tell you a little bit more about my story. Awesome! Guys, don't forget to subscribe to all of our channels. And if you liked this video, Rags to Riches, let us know in the comment section below and hit that like button. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!
my stomach. Oh, I don't feel good. Oh. Why does my stomach hurt so bad? Oh, Molly. Huh? What? Huh? What's, what's going on? <laughs> Dizzy, why are you waking me up so early? It's not even 7 o'clock yet. Molly, I need you. Come down here, please. Dizzy, what, what's wrong? It's it's my stomach. It hurts so bad. What? Well, uh, what did you eat something bad last night? Maybe maybe it's from the bean burritos or something. No, Molly, that's definitely not it. I'm serious. You probably just have to fart. Just try. Okay. Ew, Daisy. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah. You told me if I fought it, I'd feel better. And it's a lie! My stomach still hurts! Ew, that's super stinky! I have to get back into bed now, Molly. Oh, I can barely stand up. My stomach hurts so bad. Oh. Daisy, are you being serious right now or are you pranking me? Molly, I'm not pranking you. <laughs> I want Mom. I don't feel good. Okay, I'll go get Mom. Mom! 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 Where are you? Mom! Daisy's really sick, Mom! Oh my gosh, it's Monday morning! Mom told me she had to leave early for work today. She's not even here. Oh my gosh, I have to try to take care of Daisy all by myself. Mom? Mom? Wait, where's Mom? Um, she had to leave early for work today, Daisy. What? No! I need my mom! Daisy... I don't know what to do. I don't know either. I just don't feel good. I've never felt so sick in my life. Okay, Daisy. Well, uh, I'll think of something. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Wait a minute. If she's that sick, I should probably call an ambulance. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, my name is Molly, and my sister Daisy is having really bad stomach pains. Oh, well, maybe it's just gas, dear. No, it's not gas! She already farted and it didn't make her feel better. Oh, okay, well, does she have any other symptoms? DC, do you have any other symptoms? Who are you talking to? 911. 911? No, I don't want to go to the hospital. I'm afraid. She says she's afraid and doesn't want to go to the hospital. Well, tell your sister, sometimes going to the hospital is the best thing you can do because they can help you there. I heard her and I don't care. I want to stay home. Okay, um, my sister's really sick. I don't want her to overhear this, but send an ambulance right away. Okay, dear. Thank you for calling. We'll send an ambulance right away. Molly, what are you saying? Um, nothing. I, I think you should just rest, okay, Daisy? I have to go get dressed now. Why, Molly? Um, I just do. Oh, my gosh. My sister's going to be so mad when she sees that I, I called an ambulance, but I think she really needs one. Molly? Maybe I just need to have some Pepto-Bismol. Uh, Daisy, I'm not so sure that that's going to help. It looks like you're starting to run a fever now, too. Oh, wait. I hear somebody outside. Is that an ambulance I hear? Um, uh, no. Molly, you better not have caught an ambulance. Oh, yeah. She's totally going to be super mad at me about this one. But it's for her own good. Hi there. I'm Paramedic Smith. Uh, where's the patient? She's right this way, but she's really angry that there, there's a person here to take her by ambulance. Okay, well, I work for EMS, so um, I'm just going to see if I can talk her into going to the hospital, because it sounds like maybe she needs to go. Yeah, good idea. Daisy, someone's here to see you. It better not be a... Oh my gosh, it's a paramedic. Oh, my stomach. Okay, sweetheart. All right, Molly, why don't you stand back over there, okay? I'm going to get in and take a look and see what's going on. Okay, Daisy, why don't you tell me what your symptoms are, honey? No, I'm not going to the hospital. Daisy, you don't want to get sick and die, do you? No, not really. Your sister's right. The hospital can help you. We have doctors and specialists there who will know exactly why your stomach hurts so much. And um, you have a pretty high temperature, so I'm going to need to take you in the ambulance. I'll be with you every step of the way, Daisy. Every step! I can't believe you called 911, Molly. Well, what would you have me do, Daisy? I mean, you're sick. You have to go to the hospital. 
fine, man. Whatever. Daisy, I care about you. I'm really worried. Something is definitely not right. I know, Molly. That's why I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Oh, well, hi there. How can I help you? I'm just waiting for my sister to be wheeled in. She's having horrible stomach pain, doctor. I will take super good care of your sister. What's your name? Molly, and my sister's name is Daisy. Well, don't worry about a thing, Molly. We're going to fix your sister up. Thanks, because... I'm really worried about her. Okay, Daisy. Thank you for being the most difficult patient in the entire world. Whatever, paramedic. Just drop me in the bed already. Daisy, no need to be rude. Well, ow, my stomach hurts. I can't help it. I'm telling you, it's probably just gas, but it's better to check it out. Ugh, that paramedic tried to give me a ride back out into the hall. I told her it wasn't even my break time yet. Oh, sorry, but your doctor has a good sense of humor. What a great bedside manner you have. Oh, thank you. Okay, Daisy, you have quite a high fever and stomach pain. I'd like to give you an x-ray. I want my mom! Don't worry, Daisy, I already called mom. She's rushing here right now. Okay, Daisy, I just need you to get right inside the x-ray machine. Excellent. It's really loud in here! Sorry about that, the machine is a little noisy. Okay, doctor. Tell it to me, Suet. What's happening to me? Am I gonna go to the to the other side? The other side of what? <laughs> the hospital? No way. No, is it? Am I gonna die? Oh wow. Well, I can see exactly what the problem is. What is it? You have appendicitis. Appendo? What? I don't want to have a panda in my stomach. Oh no, not a panda. A Appendicitis. Yeah, precisely. A panda in my stomach. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, you have something in your body called an appendix. And, well, yours is not working right, so we need to take it out. What? I need my appendix. No, you don't need your appendix, really. <laughs> it doesn't really do anything for you, except for be annoying. I don't want to have surgery. This is the worst day of my life. Daisy? Daisy? Mommy! <laughs> I was so scared without you! Oh, honey, I'm so sorry, but I'm here now. Everything's gonna be okay, I promise. They say I have appendicitis. I know, honey. You are gonna have to have your appendix out. I don't want to! That's scary! It's gonna be okay, Daisy. I know it is. Easy for you to say. You get to keep your appendicitis. Oh, honey, it's your appendix. Appendix. I want to call it a panda, okay? Okay, Daisy, whatever you say. Oh, look, Daisy, I think they're going to be coming to take you to your surgery now. Mom, I could just stay here. Oh, my stomach! And live with your stomach like this? I don't think so, honey. You need to have this surgery. Everything will be okay. Here comes the doctor now. Okay, time to get that appendix out. It's Daisy Voorhees! Oh, <laughs> I kid, I kid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow, uh, you really do have a good sense of humor. <laughs> Except for I think this one kind of scared my sister a little. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is crazy town. Okay, Daisy, this might pinch a little, but it's anesthesia, which means you'll fall asleep and you won't feel any of your operation. I don't like shots very much. It'll only hurt for just a second. Ready? Okay. All done. All right. Now you should start counting backwards from 10. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Okay, the patient is out. Time to take out her appendix. Molly, what are you doing? I'm just running back and forth. I'm feeling a little bit nervous about Daisy right now. Molly, everything's going to be fine. I promise, honey. Oh my gosh, I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. Molly, sit down, please. Okay. Oh, I'm super nervous. Mom, is Daisy going to wake up or is she in a coma? No, Molly, she's not in a coma. She's just coming out of anesthesia. Let's go again. Hee hee. Ha ha ha. Hee hee. Why is she laughing hysterically? 
Um, well, sometimes people do funny things when they're coming out from anesthesia. Daisy, are you awake? I'm gonna eat all the ice creams with pickles on top. <laughs> I'm gonna ride a unicorn through the sky. <laughs> and I like cheese doodles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've only got one thing to do. Mm, this is a delicious cheeseburger. Mm, sorry, I'm on my lunch break. But I wanted to come in and tell you guys that, well, everything went well. Great. <laughs> I can't wait to make a video about this. I love unicorns and I'm going to fly on one where I eat ice cream with pickles. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> oh, Daisy, <laughs> you are so out of it. It's fabulous. I'm just glad that Daisy is completely okay. Me too. And I'm glad that I can show all the YouTube fans how cray cray Daisy acts when she's coming out of anesthesia. <laughs> what are you laughing about? I want to laugh too. <laughs> oh, Daisy, you're not going to like this video at all.